The young baby, when I went downstairs, try young back facing me as I applied him, my heart began to race and I found myself frozen in a place. He just staring, I couldn't help but stare at him back his silky shirt left unbuttoned at the top revolving his perfect plum well polished chest, his black pants curved to his body swaying his and narrow words. His long hair fell in a perfect way over his shoulders and was tucked behind his ears. Attention to his sharp jaw and an piercing cat-like eyes as he extended his hand. I couldn't help but notice the venue of his skin, and uh, he is just giving the my daddy type of vibe. When we are done with our Check out season. Young clear his thought to remove awkwardness and said, Let's go there. We are getting late. I nodded my head. He walked ahead but stopped a little, turning his head and said, By the way, you are looking gorgeous. He complimented. I said a small thank you and blesses at his compliment. Something is wrong with the blood plumbing system i said to myself but when hyung started again walking i ran beside him and said still looking downstairs as we reach walking i quickly caught up to him and returned the compliment thank you to him time escape when we both arrived at house for family dinner we greeted everyone together because for some reason we both didn't leave each other's side. For dinner, there were not many people just close to one, like Jin, Namjoon, Hobi, Kai, Simin, Suga, my brother and father, and lastly Hong's mom and dad. Everyone compliments us, even teaching us like you both look like groom and bride today. Mom, Tihong said, do you guys forget that this is family dinner, not your wedding? Tihong dad said, do you guys again want to marry? Jin Hyung teasingly said, everyone laughing at us while me and Hyung are hiding our blessing face. Even if it's embarrassing but it's really feel like home. Everyone is catching and laughing at silly things. We are all enjoying our family time while eating food when Jungkook Hyun said, Mom, you want us to discuss about something. Son, it's uh, about us. Emma was about to finish her sentence. A sudden and unexpected voice, uh, the peaceful atmosphere in the dining room. It was the voice of Jian Young, and as soon as she spoke, the previously cheerful and content mood was shattered into a million. I felt the weight of her presence crushed down on me, overwhelming me with emotions that were hard to explain. It was as if my entire world had been turned upside down with just one sound, and the tumbling inside me was almost unbearable. A way of sudden went thought inside me, I want to scream and cry or maybe punch her face. She destroyed my life with her fake love and now she has to get to face me but I control my anger because of family and I don't want to create a scene. Everyone is giving me sympathy look. Oh, Chonko Kopa? She said to Hyung in a sweet tone but I can't feel Hyung clinch his fist but didn't say anything. She said beside Chonko Kan Tehung, son, we know Youngji makes mistake but People always do stupid things in love. The boy run, she run with already abandoned her, so we can't kick her on the road. In the end, she is the daughter of this house, and I'm her mother, Emma said in a sad tone. I only nodded my head, ignoring the anger inside me for the sake of Emma. My parents gave me a sympathy look and Jungkook Hyun didn't say anything like he didn't care about anything and why would he care it is it not like I am a special for him I scoffed internally. Dinner continued in awkward silence. Nobody said anything and I am sitting here 
uncomfortable because of Yonji cookie schmuck. After dinner, we all are preparing for our leave when Jungkook Hyun spoke. Emma, I respect your decision with whole heart and agree with you what Yongji is the daughter of this house, but the person sitting beside me is the son-in-law of this house. What Yongji did is not only a mistake but destroys someone's trust, dream and enjoyment. If you want her in this house, I don't have a problem or maybe I don't care, but I care about the person sitting next to me. If he gets uncomfortable or upset because of her, I will throw her on the road without a second thought, he said in a cold and serious voice. Youngji's mark turned into fear and my parents is parents and our friend sympathy gaze turned into a proud one and I'm looking at Hyung with a star in my eyes. It's feel good and happy. He really cares about me and that's a stupid thoughts making me feel butterflies. After that, we leave the house. Hyung, thank you for supporting me. It's okay, Te. I really care about you and always doing going to support you, he said with a clumpy smile. Hyung, you are knocking on the door on my heart which I never want to open again. I internally said, still looking at Hyung. Te hangi, baby. It's been over one month and me and Jungkook Hyung are doing well with each other now. I am sitting in the cafeteria with my idiot best friend or maybe towards a glare at him. Have you tried turning off and back out again? Jimmy looked at me surprised. You really say that? I grip at his laptop a little bit longer. Okay. A uh, lot a bit together. Yes, as I do now. The fact that I am up here in the cafeteria trying to get fill from your laptop because you deleted important files from your laptop because of those. Searching his head while Suga was hiding his face now in my defense, Jimin started. No, I aggressively whispered, cutting him off. You don't get a bloody defense for making out of your desk table or work. You, he gave me a pot at my scolding words. You are not cute when you are angry. He went at that's because I'm here wasting my time because of your making. Now I took a brief push to control my anger and convince myself that killing Jimin would be frowned upon by the system how the am i supposed to do come when one of the director ignores the rejection we place on this hospital how are you even can make you mood for when you are doing work on patient file i asked turning to that idiot i must have said that last part a little too loud because ho hyung had made it back to the cafeteria in time to catch exactly what i said he burst out into a file of laughter or suddenly both young men and i heard snap up towards his direction jesus christ jimin at work you really couldn't wait till your made it home huh he started from laughter so hard i was medically concerned he might topper over die from the way his body was violently shaking i couldn't help but crack a grin myself hey hey i thought it was a just judgment free work zone jimin backpack he suit me a look that silently plays. 
with me to back him up but a just suit me one that very said you must be joking as soon as hobi young was able to correctly breathe again he said thangi did you hear about the new doctor who transferred study yes i heard why oh did you know that he confusedly asked what i raised my abro at him see is dr lee new doctor in neurology department and many people are taking about he whispered the last part but what the did he say she has a crush on jungkook hyun ma jungkook hyun no it can't be possible how can she have a crush on hyun of course she has a pabu tehang how can you forget your hyun is the best doctor in the country and His posture is all over the country looking all hot and handsome. Ah, this old Dracula who said him to look so good in photos. Tehangi, why are you trying to break my laptop? Jimin asked. I followed his gaze and found that I was clutching his laptop. Oh, sorry. Are you jealous, Tehangi? Suga said. Jimin also teased him. Shut up, guys. This is not what you are you thinking but did you really think they would stop their teaching no way in the they literally teach me for a half an hour which made me plus like bit rude as our other friend entered the cafeteria my eyes immediately found him at the sight of the him i couldn't help but simper brightly however my smile quickly fed when i noticed a girl walking beside him holding his arm stately the sudden crush of emotion made my heart skin and my face i countered opening at my young sugar quickly into what thangi calm down please i complied with his request and sat on my seat silently watching the group of people walking towards us my attention was mainly on the old dracula who an express can me i don't give a about her hand on me can't he just throw her away then jin hyung introduced the new doctor lee sin she said hi in a low voice and everyone greeted her before sitting down at the table however the irritated woman continued to stuck herself to chungko kyung dr jian are you so tired seriously thank you are you kidding me hyung she literally flirting with you i parted a little because i really don't like the scene in front of me dr jian hair suit for you he feels so soft she touching his hair and he nodded his head should i ask him to cut his hair no no i can't he kind look hot in long hair and i also love them son please can i stay her she is going on my nerves ah uh, i think someone has a crush her jin hyung said looking at me with a smile while she blushing more we are able to listen your heart beat dr lee kai hyung tees dr jian is my inspiration and i am dying heart fan of his yeah yeah why can't she take a good heart attack and dr jian i look at i have your every semester video she shifted more closer to hyung swung her phone that's it i bangs my hand on a table dr lee sorry but i think you should learn some respect i said thought greeted it what she confusedly asked now everyone attention is on me i said you should learn some respect first this is a hospital not some cafe where are you flirting with your crush i said that line looking at hume and the second things you should not flirt with other husband husband now she is confused more yes husband this person is my husband and i said confidently looking straight into her eyes i married him in front of the whole world so if you could please let go of his arm i would like to take him home as my husband after hearing me she embarrassedly leave his arms i can see a proud smile on my best friend face let's go hyung 
He nodded his hand and we both left the cafeteria to his office. We went inside the office. He closed the door behind him. I am deeply looking into his face. He confusedly asked, There is something on my face. Tie your hair. What? Tie your hair, Hume. Why? Just do it, Hume. I understand. Okay, he tied his hair, but he looks more hot. And I thought he would look ugly. Son, oh, no, no, no. Don't tie it. Leave them. Open. Chunk of POV. As I stood there, he asked me to tie my hair. However, it didn't take me long to realize that his behavior outside, where he had refused to me as his husband, might have something to do with it. I couldn't help but smile intervally as I realized what my day was jealous. It was kind of cute, to be honest. As I looked at him, he seems more adorable than ever his lips were pressed into a big pot as if he was debating about something important i could only guess that it might have something to do with my hair what is she doing with you he asked she worked with us i innocently what he irritatedly said are you jealous i asked him what no you I noticed he was looking around the room, avoiding my eyes contact to me. I slowly made my way towards him and he sang very slightly. His gaze dropped to the floor. I gently took hold of his chin, lifted it up so that he was looking at me. I couldn't help but notice the roseness in his cheeks and the way he nervously bit his lower lip i couldn't help but think of the world hot tea are you cute when you get jealous i rub his cheek softly but i loyally to my wifey mrs jian i whispered the last line in his ears now he turned into blessing mess